Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing some One Piece. Uh, this is gonna be the second set that's come out. Since I've started getting into One Piece, the first set being uh, EB01, which I had an unboxing for that one. And then this will be the second box that I unbox on the channel being um, OP07, 500 years into the future. Um, I have been able to open some OP06 as well, but I didn't. I don't think I've done that on the channel yet. Um, at least I don't think I've uploaded yet because I did record something. I just haven't uh, been able to edit that yet. Um, and I think that's it. I haven't opened any of the older sets. I had a chance to be able to get some of the older boxes for retail, but unfortunately, by the time I made it to the location where I could get them, they were all sold out. So yeah, I am fortunate enough to have a One Piece official card shop about an hour away from me. Uh, so I did have to drive an hour away and I was able to pick this up for retail, Was it, which was about 107 bucks, really cool. Um, as well as this, I've never opened any of these before. It's uh, a double pack set four, double pack set four. I guess this is the fourth of the double pack sets they've released. Um, sounds like it has two packs. And I think it also has something with like, you get a, a special Dawn card in here. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I kinda, I kinda wanna start with this just because this is kind of interesting. I've never, never opened this before. So yeah, let's start with this one. I honestly kind of like the box design too. Um, if it was a little bit smaller, I might have kept it uh, just to use it as a, as a deck box, but it is a little bit too long, but still, still a pretty cool little box. Wow, that, that's a lot of empty space right there. They definitely could have made, made this thinner at least. There's like literally nothing in there. They could have, I don't know, they could at least put a toy or something in there. I, I don't know, just when it comes to stuff like this, it's just like wasted space in my opinion. So uh, this is a special Dawn pack and then you do just get two regular packs. Uh, so let's let's open this up first, see, see what this special Dawn is all about. Yeah, it looks like you just get one and, ooh, okay, we get Boa. That's actually pretty nice, what I was expecting, but I like this. I kind of want to get want to get more now because I do like playing with different types of dawns in my decks and yeah boa boa is pretty cool maybe that's a, a sign maybe we'll get the boa manga rare uh, we'll see but let's go ahead and open these packs start off here see if our luck can be good today so far my luck with one piece hasn't hasn't been the greatest I haven't pulled any crazy pulls. Uh, there's Monkey D Dragon. I wish I would have pulled this in my pre-release because I heard this was pretty busted, but um, we did pull one here. Whoops. I think it will be a little bit playable too as well, so a uh, good card to pull. Starting off pretty pretty decent here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I already saw what that was. That was a Tony Tony Chopper. I like Tony Tony Chopper cards, so yeah, that, w that will be going in my collection binder. And let's see what the other card we got here was. Uh, looks like it's just an event, Tempest Kick. Uh, so that's gonna do it for the uh, double pack. Pretty cool. Happy with this, definitely happy with that. Uh, we're gonna count that as our first hit. Now let's get into the booster box. We're gonna do that and put it here in the background. Um, take all these out. I want to put my hits standing up like that. All right. All right, let's get into this. Um, surprisingly, there's only 24 packs in a booster box for uh, One Piece. There's definitely more in Pokemon, which I guess explains uh, why Pokemon boxes are a little bit more expensive if you get uh, One Piece boxes for retail, because if you can't get One Piece boxes for retail, uh, the price can get pretty, pretty ridiculous. Um, I've seen like a week after they release, they start going for like 150 plus, even even when they get released. I, I had a friend on, on Discord tell me that his area, when sets release, the cheapest he can get them for is 150, which, yeah, that's why I was saying that. I'm, I'm lucky to be able to have a One Piece official store near me. Uh, some of these cards I've already seen from pre-release, so I'm not gonna have any huge reactions there. Um, probably right now, I'm, I'm honestly just looking for more. Ooh, okay. We got our first Altart in that. I think that's a good one. Trafalgar Law, 
He's the blocker. What does this guy do? Dawn minus one. If your opponent has seven or more cards in their hand, trash two cards from your opponent's hand. Wait. This is just, just the law that comes in the uh, three brothers, or sorry, the three captains deck. Just alternate art. That That is pretty cool. Definitely happy with that. We are starting off pretty good, in my opinion. So that's one hit pretty early on into the box. And I am definitely happy with that. One thing that I do definitely want to get, which I don't know if it's going to happen, but I would love to get for Yellow Luffy's, the, the like the one that has literally the same artwork here. Maybe not that one. I think the, the regular SR has different artwork. This is the artwork for the um, alternate art. Uh, but I definitely want those Luffy's because I do play Black Yellow Luffy. Um, so I would love to pull four, if not at least two. Yeah, two would be nice. Um, curious what that um, Trafalgar Law goes for. Uh, I'll put this the price on the screen for you guys so you guys can kind of keep track how much all this is worth. But yeah, kind of. I might actually put that in my in my deck. Uh, I do play that law in my red purple law. Is that another alt art? No, I don't think it is. Oh yes, we got one. That's one. One Luffy. So this is the the regular SR version. Uh, I, I honestly don't even know what this does. <laughs> I just know a lot of people play it in the new Black Yellow Luffy decks. Uh, again, I am more of a Pokemon player, not much of a One Piece, but um, I do like to play the most up to date decks whenever I do play. So this one has activate main. You may trash this character if you have two or less life card, which Black Yellow Luffy tends to have. Uh, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less, then draw one card. Wow, that is actually very, very good. Now I see why they start playing some, uh, I think they started playing this black character. I forgot his name, but I think he reduces the cost of, um, of your opponent's characters. So that's probably why that's being played now in this deck. So yeah, very cool, very happy with this pool. In fact, I'm gonna add it up here as one of my play pools. All right, let's keep going. We still got, still got quite a, ooh. I've heard when you have red on the back, that is an alternate leader. So I'm kind of excited here. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Um, so let's see if we can pull the, imagine pulling the boa, boa uh, manga rare. That would be crazy. Let's, let's see what we got here. I'm excited. All right, span down. Mask Deuce. Ooh, that's a nice Nico Robin. And still not there. Crocodile. I'm just gonna close my eyes, do this. Oh, that one's not it, one more. Let's try that again. Bonnie, oh, that is a good pull. Um, I'm happy with this one as well. Uh, Bonnie was pretty cool. I did play her in pre-release, so I might build this one, but yeah, super happy with this pool. Uh, I was excited for it to be the Boa Manga Rare, but Boa, I mean, Jewelry Bonnie is decent as well. Man, this is a, this is a pretty good box, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, probably, probably the best box I've ever opened in One Piece so far. Hopefully we just keep going up from here and my next box has a, dude, I think, I think we got another alternate art. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, look at that. We got Jinbei alternate art. That has to be it. I think we've already pulled all of our hits for this box. We got two alternates art, two alternate arts and the alt art leader. Yeah, this, this is a busted box here. Super happy with this. Let's see if we can get some more hits. Um, oh my God, did we get another one? No, okay, it kind of looked like it was gonna be, uh, but no, this is just a really nice card, Stussy. I've heard she's pretty good. So I'm gonna put her back there. All right, at this point, the only thing I'm hoping for is more like cards that I, I plan to play. So more of those black, yellow Luffy's. Oh, Jewelry Bonnie, definitely need that. Uh, Cause that's, um, I'm probably gonna build Bonnie. She seemed pretty cool. I did really like her in pre-release, um, plus, I like her, her character art. Her character art is actually pretty cool. I like that. Okay, let's keep going here. Nothing there. At least that I 
I've seen in any decks um, profiles recently. We got a new leader and nothing there. I don't think this leader is any good. What does he do? I haven't seen anybody play him. Uh, Vega Punk, select up to one egg hack type with a cost of five or less from your hand and play it or add it to the top of your life cards face up. Wait, you can just add it to the top of your life cards face up? This leader cannot attack. So you can just keep building your life? That's kind of crazy. That's actually pretty good. Uh, it only lets you do it once per turn. But, oh, that's why. You start with two life. Okay, so that, that makes a lot of sense there. Starting with two life, but every turn, you could literally ramp up your life. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I kind of want to see how that's played. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking up some, some decks for that. That seems like a very interesting mechanic. Nothing that I've seen yet uh, when it comes to the One Piece card game. Uh, just two events. That's, never seen that before, I don't think. Ooh, Sanji, I think he is being played in um, purple, red, purple law. So I'm gonna add him up here. He is gonna probably go into one of my decks. Uh, Maha, that's kind of funny because uh, I have a coworker that I work with. Uh, her name is Maha, or at least we call her Maha. Her name is actually Chaitanya. But uh, yeah, I've never seen anybody else be called Maha other than, than this character right here. Ooh, okay, we got... And then even this leader card from Boa looks, she looks, she's looking pretty good on there. I like it. I'm definitely going to be adding that to the collection. Uh, and I don't know if this ace is good. He's a blocker. Draw two cards and place two cards from your hands at the top or bottom of your deck in any order. That doesn't seem bad, to be honest. This ace, I'm going to put him up here. Okay. Uh, Jimbe, I don't know if that's any good. I love this artwork. I think this art looks really cool. Uh, that's going to be going in my collection binder. So I do. Ooh, I like this too. Um, for some reason, I thought it was like a, uh, it almost looked like an altar. I, I like the artwork on here. So I'm going to gonna add that over here. Maybe I can even play that. There's another ace that is a rare. It does have a nice little hollow effect. Looks like we got a leader here. We got probably, yep, Rob Lucci. Nothing else. Uh, what does this do? Tempest Kick. Draw one card, then if you have two or more cards in your trash, get up to one of your opponent characters minus three cost during this turn. And then Trigger is KO up to one of your opponent's character with a cost of three or less. That's, that seems decent in black. Don't know if it's being played much. I assume it would, it is. Okay, we got the Dawn here. Uh, similar to the leader, um, if you have the Dawn at the back, that means you have the alternate art Dawn. So, let's see what we get in here. I love that card. That artwork looks so nice. I wish they would have given this the hollow treatment. Yeah. Uh, Tony Tony Chopper. This guy was uh, really helpful during pre-release. Uh, every time I saw him, I definitely added him to my decks. And then we got the... Oh, man. Look at that. It's super bent. That's not... That's not cool, but yeah, pretty cool artwork. Uh, so I was used, I don't know why I was expecting to see this art on the Dawn that, that I pulled from the double pack, but it is exclusive Dawn. So we got that one and I do like that more. I wish I could get more of these. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but this Dawn is pretty cool too. Um, I have already pulled like four of these total for my Pyridesis. Uh So now I have five. I almost have like a full a full play set of, of this artwork, which is pretty cool. So. If I can get a full place out of that, I might put it in one of my decks. Okay, let's keep going here. There are so many characters in One Piece. There's Jimbe, super rare. I hear he is pretty playable in blue. So we're gonna go ahead and sleeve him up. That's another SR, Porsche. What does she do? Dawn minus one. Uh, look at top five cards from your deck. Reveal up to all oh, she's played in Foxy Pirates. Don't know how much I'm gonna be playing this one, but I do like the artwork. 
it'll at least go into my my collection. And we got one, two, three, four packs. Uh, so we're almost done here. Let's see what we got. Uh, and we haven't pulled any other Luffy's other than just one. Let's let's see if we can pull one more. Please do one more. That way we don't have to buy buy them all. There's another Bowen Hancock. Uh, this law I've heard is pretty good. This Luchi might be good. Uh, let's go last two. I think I, am I the one bending these cards? I think that might have been me. Yeah, this bin right here was definitely me the way I opened that. There's another Bonnie. And this Otama. I think she, could, she definitely is going to be seeing some play. Uh, reveal up to one Land of Wano type card. And add it to your hand. So she's a searcher for green Land of Wano type cards. I think she might even be played in Bonnie. So yeah. I might definitely be playing that. And last card, it's another, it's another Dawn. So hopefully we can get a Luffy here too. Nope, because there's another leader. And there's the Dawn. All right, that's gonna do it. Um, pretty, pretty honestly, pretty happy with this box. We got uh, three hits as well as one Luffy. Um, I know she's pretty pricey, so I think I definitely made the value of this box back. Um, I did only play 107 for it, so I think I think she might be worth that. But yeah, really happy with these three pulls. Um, these are all, well, these two are going to be cards that I would just probably put in my decks. Uh, this one, I might sell this one. Not too uh, uh, crazy about this character, so I don't even know if I want to add it to my binder. So yeah, I'll probably sell this one, uh, but I'll definitely be keeping these two. Um, so yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I would be continuing to open One Piece here on this channel now. Let me know what other type of uh, One Piece content you guys would like to see. Uh, maybe I can show you guys my decks or something like that, some gameplay. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.